Hey guys, I've got another video for you for Black Ops 3 Zombies about stuff that we did not know about. This is the first time we're all hearing this. In some of my previous videos, I talked about the voice actors that voice Ultimus and Premise that also voice characters on Shadows of Evil, and we never knew it. Well, I would say about 99% of people didn't know it because the voice actors are so good, they can mask their voices and sound like completely different people. But once you know who they are, then yeah, you can hear the characteristics in their voices. So I already went over that the four guys that voice premise also voice the four victims that we sacrifice in Shadows of Evil. For me, after knowing this, I go back in and play Shadows and I do the sacrifices and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I can hear their voices in those characters. Then I showed you that Tom Kane, who also does Takio, is voicing the civil protector on Shadows of Evil, which knowing that makes you love him so much more. And then finally, I showed that Nolan North, who does Rick Toffin, does the tram announcer. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a voice actor that voices some of our characters and we may not know him by name but we have heard his voice absolutely everywhere and it's really wild knowing who he is and what he's voiced and then seeing him voicing in zombies is like wow that's cool this guy has one of the most amazing voices and I can see why Treyarch chose this guy so this guy voices some of our weapons in Shadows of Evil and if you're not aware of it the Apothecan Servant has voice lines it actually has a lot of voice lines but you don't hear a lot of them. It has lines whenever you build it and pick it up, and those are the ones I'll be showing you here. There's four different Apothecan servants with four different names, and these are alien creatures, so that's why they're naming them differently. And you can see the names of them on the left right there. Those translate to Gathering Shadow, Dark Servant, Consuming Teeth, and Flow of Decay. When we're holding the weapon, we see the Apothecan name, so I'm holding Lor Zorzor, and that stands for Flow of Decay. The Apothecan servant is designed to have voice lines. Whenever you build it and pick it, it up. It basically says what its name is and then it's telling you to feed it. I'll let you guys listen to those voice lines. And these voice lines are voiced by this guy that I'm about to show you. <laughs> Okay, so that's the guy's voice right there. Very deep. Obviously, they're doing some kind of enhancements on it, but basically, he's got that pretty deep of a voice anyway. I'll show you guys all about who he is, but real quick, there is a second Apothecan Servant that is under the map. We know that at some point, we were going to have a second one, but we never got it. And these are the parts right here for both of them. You can see the tentacle, the xenomatter, and the heart. There are two sets, and they totally cut it, and we do not have two. We only have one, and they made a lot of voice lines for the second Apothecan servant that we were going to have in Shadows, but yeah, it got cut. So they used the voice lines somewhere else. I think it's really cool. And it's something I just came upon while putting this video together. So I'll show you guys all of that later on in the video. So the guy that's voicing the Apothecan servant and then some other things that I'll show you in just a moment, his name is David K. This guy is in high demand and he has done hundreds of voices. And I'll show you guys the cool ones that he's done so that whenever you see it, you're like, oh my God, that's that's the Apothecan Servant voice. <laughs> and there's a couple of websites that show who all the voice actors are for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And if you go to this website here and scroll down, you can see that he's on the list. It says David K and that he's just doing additional voices. So David K, he's a Canadian voice actor. He's been around for a while, since the 80s. And he's got a nice website that shows his portfolio and some of the work he's done. When I saw some of the stuff that he's done, I was like, oh my God, you hear this guy everywhere. He does everything. He's the voice you hear when there's a movie trailer, or sports announcements. He even did the World Cup last year. I'll play that for you. The sands of time have shaped the host nation of Qatar, and with them blows in a new day of World Cup soccer. Here we go. Today in a Group E matchup. He has done a ton of movie trailers. He does commercials for Coca-Cola, Toyota, Verizon. Yeah, you've definitely heard him before. He also voices some really popular cartoon characters. For one, he is Megatron. Like, that's what he's known for. Autobots do. Where on earth is Starscream? <laughs> Silence, you simpleton! Go out and capture that Minicon. Spread out, men. That Minicon is here somewhere. He's also known for voicing Clank from Ratchet & Clank. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. It's no problem. So, what do I call you? I suppose my proper designation is Warbot Defect B54296. 
So he can do higher pitches and lower pitches. And here's a video of him doing one of the voices. I'm going to bring my, uh, my, my buddy Megatron from Beast Wars. 1994. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. So he's going to sit with me on the table as I pull up a chair. So he definitely has a very famous voice. And in addition to the Apothecan Servant, he also does two other weapons for us. He did the voice lines for the Apothecan Sword and then the upgraded version, the Keeper Sword. <laughs> So there he was doing Apothecan language lines, and then for the upgraded Keeper Sword, he's doing Keeper language. So yeah, you can see why they hired him. They needed that really deep voice to be able to pull off these voice lines. I was always fascinated by how deep this dude's voice was. And it's like, yeah, he really does have that deep of a voice. They're not really altering it too much. And in addition to him doing the Apothecan Servant, the Apothecan Sword, and the Keeper Sword, he does one other character on Shadows of Evil for us. And this just shows this guy's range. He's got that really deep voice, and then he can do kind of a higher pitch voice with an accent, and it sounds really different, but you can still tell it's him. So he does the voice of the reporter and you do see the reporter on shadows of evil and you also hear him through some telephone conversations he's talking about how he's having to run errands for the shadow man aka tony wrapped you can activate and hear the phone calls in the footlight area upstairs near the tram and then you see his dead body in the ruby rabbit area and this has an interesting backstory because there was a cipher that let us know that yeah he was the reporter and he had gone to go get the summoning key for the shadow man and he was intercepted by Rick Toffin, and the reporter was freaking out trying to keep it from Rick Toffin, and Rick Toffin ended up killing him. So that's why you see his dead body here. And I'll play just a couple of the voice lines so you can hear that, yeah, it's David Kay, same guy doing Apothecan Servant and also the swords. And then he does another voice line that I'll show you in just a moment on Verizon. Hey, Mr. Rapp, just checking in. So I'm here, finally, taking in the sights, sounds, and smells of Mork City. I know you sent me here to write a piece about the city's bustling nightlife and theater scene and the characters that inhabit it, but things are getting kind of strange. Even though no one seems to want to talk about it, something is definitely off about this city. So now you guys can blame me. Next time you see his commercials or movie trailers, you're only going to be thinking about the Apothecan Servant. So he did a bunch of voice lines for the weapons on Shadows of Evil and the Apothecan Servant, and he did a bunch that they didn't end up using in Shadows of Evil, and instead they used him in Dorizon. In the boss fight, you're fighting a corrupted Keeper, and the Keeper does not speak Keeper language. It's speaking Apothecan because it's corrupted. And yeah, you're in the boss fight and you can hear this giant keeper like belting out all of these Apothecan lines. And there might have been somebody that already broke down all these voice lines and translated them, but I found out where they came from. And that's the part I think is cool. So these voice lines are Apothecan and they're from the second Apothecan servant that we were supposed to get on Shadows of Evil, but got cut. So yeah, absolutely makes sense that they could use those voice lines because they never got used but it's kind of funny because the voice lines that they are were definitely intended for the second weapon and not this giant corrupted keeper just like the first apothecan servant the second four were also going to have individual names because they were going to be completely different alien creatures it was going to be total shadow eclipse servant consuming ruin and curse of decay some of the voice lines that they created for the second apothecan servant was to just say hello to the player basically the player would get it and collect it and then the thing would make an announcement that it's here, it's risen, and it would tell you what its name was. Of course, it would use the Apothecan translation of its name, but those are the four lines that they've put into the boss fight. And I'll play those lines for you and show you the translations, but yeah, this is the closest we have ever gotten to that second Apothecan servant. <laughs> It's got other voice lines, but yeah, most of them were for the second servant. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys ever heard of David Kay and if you recognize his voice. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.